Hello and welcome to this video on multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. Now the only point you need to know for this video is that whenever you multiply by say 10 or 100 or 1000 or 10,000 etc, or if you divide by 10, 100, 1000 etc, some kind of power of 10, then it shifts where the decimal place lies. So for example, if I do 2.3 and I multiply it by 10, well it's obviously going to make it bigger. And what it does is that it shifts this decimal point, it moves it right one position. So now the decimal point is just after the 3, so you can see it's just going to be 23. You don't need to put that decimal point after if you haven't got any digits after it. And then with the second one, again, we're multiplying by 100. Now the number of zeros tells you how many times the decimal point is going to move. So if I copy this out, now 100 has two zeros in it, so it's going to shift the decimal point two places to the right. So one movement, two movements. So it's now between the three and the seven. So it's going to be three point seven four. Now if we divide, you might be able to guess that the decimal point moves the other way. So if we do four divided by a thousand, now the decimal point is effectively just after the units digit, even though it's not actually written in. So when we divide by a thousand, well that has three zeros, so it's going to move three times to the left. So it's going to be one, two, three. Now it's kind of hard to see where it's going, so let's just write some zeros before it. So we have the four, zero, 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 and it's moving one, two, three places to the left, so one, two, three, and you can see it's going to be there. So we get 0 0.004. What about the next one? We got 37.6 divided by 100. Well, we can see 100 has two zeros, so it's going to move two places to the left, so one, two, so it's going to be just before the three, so it's 0.376, but we need to put a zero just before it. What about the fifth one? 0.011 divided by 10. Well, there's only one zero there, so it's going to move one place to the left. So it's going to be 0.0011. So 0.0011. And then we just need to put a zero before that decimal point because the unit digit is zero. And then some final ones, we've got 0 0.0566 multiplied by 1000000. How many zeros in this? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to move five places to the right, the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, we seem to have run out of digits. So what we could do is we could just say, well, that digit is zero. That doesn't change this number, does it? And we can see the decimal point is going to be just after that zero. So it's five, six, six, zero. And the decimal point is going to occur just after that, but we don't need to write it in. And the final one, 0 0.39 multiplied by 10,000. Well, there's four zeros there, so it's going to move once, twice. Let's put some extra zeros on the end. Three times, four times. So we can see we're going to get 3,900. And the decimal point will be just off that unit's digit there, but we don't need to write it in.